Hello everyone, it's Mr. J, and uh, today I'm meeting up with my friends, Judith and Tim, for a quick lunch. Uh, we're gonna be trying out this Korean pork cutlet house called Deiji. It's uh, they're very famous for that, and um, this location that we're gonna be trying out is in Burnaby, um, near Metro Town, uh, in Vancouver, BC, Canada. So uh, we're just gonna. Uh, right now Judith is with me in the car and we're gonna go pick up Tim and we're gonna head over there and give you guys our thoughts on their food. Let's go! Beiji Cutlet House. So apparently they have a uh, really high ratings so we're gonna go check it out. Let's take a look at the menu. I think they're really famous for their uh, pork cutlet. So I'm gonna go for that one. So Tim, what are you getting? We are gonna get a chicken. Chicken? Uh, the boneless chicken? Yes. Okay. And so one pork. Pork pox, okay. right? That's yeah, really famous too. Judith, what, what would you like? I'll have the hamburger steak. Hamburger steak. That's this one here. Great choice. Okay, let's order. Boneless uh, soy chicken. And the hamburger steak. Yeah, we're just all sharing. Cheers! Sorry, this is the pork cutlet and this is the hamburger steak. That's awesome. Whoa! Oh, this one, this one order. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so some side dishes. Yes, great deal. So I'm gonna check, I'm gonna try out the uh, hamburger steak. Mmm, really tasty. It's good, right? How is it? <laughs> How is it, Tim? Very delicious. Delicious, right? So we're gonna try out the pork cutlet with the gravy, this one here. Gravy and um, has some radish and is that macaroni? Yeah, with some corn, a bit of daikon. Daikon, right? Yeah. So the hamburger steak was pretty good. We're gonna try out the pork cutlet next. Thank you, Tim. We're gonna try out the pork cutlet right now. Mmm, very crunchy and very juicy on the inside. See the steam coming out. Mmm, very good. So there's the potato fins. Mmm, very good. It doesn't have much flavor, it's just salt and pepper. Um, but it's pretty crunchy. There's space for the pork box. So it has a sauce, some jalapeno peppers, garlic, and a sauce. So we're gonna have a bite of the boneless chicken. This is garlic and sesame. Soy chicken. Oh, soya chicken. So the waitress just gave us a sauce for the pork pot. It's supposed to be like super salty. Oh, thank you, Tim. Let's try it. Try it if it's really salty. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, it goes really well with that pork hock. It's really delicious. It's not that salty. Is it spicy? No, it's not spicy. It's um, it's just a little bit salty with a little kick to it. Flavor. Yeah. So I put some jalapeno and garlic and the sauce on the pork hock. I'm gonna try it right now. It actually goes really well, all together. Is it better than the sauce or different? Well, the, the dipping sauce? Mm -hmm. It's actually better because it's, um, I like my sauce like a gooey texture and not like diluted. Okay. It goes really good. The sauce that comes with it, comes with the pork pot pork and the garlic and the jalapeno goes well together. But the waitress says, uh, if you're gonna dip it in this sauce, then don't mix mix them up. Just put the pork hock, dip it in there and eat it. Actually, the boneless chicken, I think they're boneless to chicken tenders, um, is not that great. It's a little bit soggy. It's, uh, I've had better, you know, Korean fried chicken tenders before. I would say, I give it, um, the pork cutlet, 9 out of 10. It's really uh, crispy and crunchy. With the gravy, it's delicious. Okay, so pretty much we are finished now, but we didn't finish all the food. Okay, so let's give a rating. Um, Judith and Tim, what do you guys rate this one, the boneless chicken tenders? Out of 10? Out of 10, 1 to 10. I say 6. 6? Okay, pretty generous. <laughs> Judith? Yeah. Between six and seven. Okay, six and seven. I give it like yeah, six and seven. It's pretty disappointing. So what about here? The famous pork cutlet, number one on the menu. Very tender. This one. I here. say eight. Eight? Yeah. I'll give it a nine. Nine? I give it a nine as well. I always come here and uh, I'll try this one out. So what about the hamburger steak? Eight. Eight? Eight and a half. I love it. But do they have uh, ketchup inside or? Yeah, no, that outside. tastes a little bit old okay, on the side, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, I give it a eight as well. That's a pretty generous, you know, rating. What about the pork hog? Pork hog is good with the dipping. The dipping sauce, yes. right? This one? You like this one better or that uh, one? And jalapeno, and dip everything yeah, together. Everything. <laughs> he loves it, right? <laughs> okay, so well, what's your rating, Tim? I that? say uh, eight and a half. Eight and a half. Okay, that's pretty good. What about you, Judith? I'll give it a... Uh, because I'm not a pork person. Yeah. So I'll give it a seven and a half. Okay. I'll give it a nine. It's actually pretty good. Yeah, and for the well, price. So the yeah, original Deji pork cutlet, it's about $16. The hamburger steak is about $17. Pork hocks is about $29. Boneless soy chicken, $27. So the bill came out to be $93.41. So it's about 12% uh, tips on top. Pretty good deal for the three of us and you know we can bring some home for our family to try. Yes, that's great. Bye bye. So this place is just right across from Metro Town in Burnaby. See all the high rises here in Metro Town. Today is actually pretty sunny and Beiji Cutlet House. It's actually pretty sunny and um, thank you for today. So um, yeah, that was it. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll be um, posting more content regularly on my channel now. So stay tuned for the next video, guys. Okay, so I'm home now. I just unpacked that. Um, the leftovers from today's lunch and I made it into this presentation. Just gonna put it in the microwave for a couple minutes and it'll be another meal.